Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll show you some great study resources that are provided by Pearson for IGCSE. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive more notifications on my next uploads. So let's begin. First, go to qualifications.pearson.com. If you want to know how I'm searching for this link over here and what this app is, please check my other video on Alfred. It's a really good productivity app for your MacBook. So we're just going to go to qualifications.pearson.com. You can also go to this website through quals.pearson.com. It takes you to the same site. Um, okay, so once you arrive here, you might be confused about where to go next. So I'll help you over there. Um, just go to our qualifications and click on international GCSEs and Indexo certificates. Uh, for this video, actually for all of my videos on studying, I'm focusing on international GCSEs only because that's what I'm going to be doing. And uh, so I don't really know much about GCSEs or um, BTEC or others. So click on international GCSEs. Over here, they give a short summary about the IGCSEs and then on the right side they ask you to select a subject. So just go ahead and select any random subject. I'll choose history. Now when you come here this is basically uh, the page for all history resources and information and other uh, support for teachers etc. So as you can see they're showing you on this page there's a specification, there's support for teacher and there's um, uh, links to other qualifications. So here's the specification. Now specifications are basically a guide. Okay, no, they're not a guide, but they're, um, they basically tell you the important information about this paper, about all the papers for that subject for earning that IGCSC and about the assessment objectives. Assessment objectives are basically the key features of the paper which they assess. I'm sorry if I am not able to explain this properly, um, but I hope you get it. So they uh, define the assessment objectives in the specification and they tell you about the content. So as you can see, um, they give a short summary of the specification right here, qualification type, IGCSE level, subject, specification code. So. The specification code for the history IGCSE is 4HI1. Um, then inside the specification uh, PDF, you can find the specific codes for each paper of uh, the history subject. And then availability UK and international. First teaching for this um, specification is 2017. The first actual assessment would have taken place in 2019. And uh, of course, onwards. Um, yeah, so you just click on download over here and here's the specification. I'm not going to go into much detail about each and every part of the specification. I'm only going to go through the parts which are the most important and I don't want to be only um, history specific because specifications are there for every subject. And I'm just going to go through the format of the specification so that you can easily find what you need for other subjects as well, for other uh, specifications for the other subjects. Uh, so this is qualification at a glance. This is important. It tells you uh, about the papers of this qualification like in a summarized way. So let's just go there. Page 7. Yeah. So um, this is paper 1. It tells you about the important things about paper 1 such as the content summary and the assessment and the timing and how many marks it um, uh, it consists of so over here it says it's 50% of the total international GCSE raw marks which means that um, it assesses 50% of the entire history IGCSC then it gives you a summary of the content which will be assessed then about the assessment there's more information so if this was another subject you would have the same format except of course different details and when you scroll down it tells you about the second paper and and you scroll down, you will get a more deep um, understanding of each paper. As you can see over here, they've um, now begun to explain each 
topic, so the French Revolution, and the other topics. Basically, what you need to cover while learning for these topics for the、um, paper. Then the same thing for paper two. And as you go down, you will come to the assessment objectives, which I feel are really important for every student to learn, because、um, it helps you know what the examiners are going to assess. So before the assessment objectives, here are some like、uh, assessment requirements. Which means the timing for each、uh, paper and the number of marks that each paper holds. Yeah, and then here are the assessment objectives and weightings. So there are four AOs. AOs is short for assessment objectives, and over here you can see the percentage of how much、uh, they appear in the IGCSE in total. And then down here there's the percentage of how much they are valued in each paper. Then this is administration general information, which is not really that important, unless you、uh, do the IGCSE privately, i.e., you don't、um, do it from school. So that was the specification. I hope you understand how you can find useful information from the specification next time. And、um, now we'll just go ahead to the other resource provided by Pearson. Second most important resource provided by Pearson for each subject is the subject guide. You'll find it right here in the right-hand corner. Subject guide. Now, subject guides are usually grouped together. I.e., in one PDF, you'll find、uh, the guide for、um, two or three subjects which are connected. So, for example, over here, if you click on this, it will take you to. The guide for humanities, geography, history, and global citizenship. So basically, four subjects all together in one PDF. So it's not going to be exactly specific, but once you scroll down, you can find、um, pages for each、um, subject. So for example, if I scroll down, here's a page for history. This is good because it lets you know、um, in a very brief way, briefer than the specification, some important information about the subject. So I would really recommend that you check out the guide for each subject. For other subjects such as science, they've grouped all the science subjects into one guide, and then for business, they're all the business subjects in one、um, guide, such as accounting, economics, and commerce, and business studies, etc. Now you can also access these resources by clicking on course materials. So if you click here, you can find the specification. Right here. Okay, so next is the sample assessment material, which is also equally important because it helps you to assess yourself, and they give you answers as well, which is really useful. So go to course materials over here, and then click on sample assessment material, and here it is. You can download it or print it, etc. It's really useful. It helps you to practice and understand how、uh, the questions are asked, etc. You can usually find sample assessment materials for every subject. Next is the exam materials. Exam materials basically means past papers. So in the same course materials section, if you go to exam materials, you'll find the past papers. Now、uh, I usually don't go here to find the past papers. It's usually easier to go to support over here and just click on past papers, and then over here just choose international GCSE and then choose your subject, and then you can choose the exam series, and then you can see the paper one, paper two, mark scheme, examiner report, etc. So. For each subject, the mark scheme and examiner report is really important. So if you're practicing from a question paper, you should check the mark scheme and then read the examiner report because it helps you to know what you've done wrong, what you've done right, where you can improve, etc. There are other resources as well. Now you can see over here they have given a drop down for resources. If you want to know how I came to this page, I went to support and I clicked on past papers. Then I chose the subject. History. 
So these are resources. So you can go to publish resources, endorse resources, course materials. So course materials is where we were before, the place where I showed you the sample assessment material and the guide and um, the specification. So let's see publish resources. Now published resources are not free. They're um, the textbooks, etc. Over here, it's not going to give you any pictures. So wait, I'll just go back to where we were before. So over here, when you come to this page, you can see there's published resources. So if I go there, it's going to give me a list of all the textbooks that are published by Pearson for the history IGCSC, and you can order them. But of course, they're paid. You can always get them from your school as well. Next up, grade boundaries. Now, this is a really useful way to know the grade boundaries for each subject and uh, each paper but grade boundaries change every year i saw a video and we'll come to that later and yeah so grade boundaries change every year but still it's good to see the grade boundaries for the previous year so that you get a rough idea so over here you can see grade boundaries january 2020 international gcsc so there's like a huge table of grade boundaries grade boundaries are basically like this how much marks you need to get a 9, how many marks you need to get 8, etc. Okay, so next stop, YouTube. You might not know this, but Pearson has their own YouTube channel. Actually, they have their own YouTube channels, not only one. So go here and search Pearson. And as you can see, they have lots of channels. And all of them are quite useful. So this is basically generally just Pearson's channel. It's not exactly for um, studies only. It's for other um, topics as well. Then there's Pearson UK Learning, which is a very good channel. Um, they have free live lessons for subjects um, such as as you can see over here, Pearson Science Live Lessons, but I think they focus more on GCSE, not on IGCSE, but still, their videos are useful. Then, there's Pearson UK Educators, which is basically a, a channel for information about the assessment objectives, about the new 9 to 1 specifications, and um, the curriculums, etc. As you can see on the side over here, they have further more channels, but uh, you don't really need to check these out because these are uh, UK specific only. So these are their YouTube channels. No. So yeah, that was all. These are some of the resources that you can get from Pearson and from other sources as well. Of course, you can take resources from Cambridge as well. It doesn't matter really if you take some uh, help from there as well, but just don't get... Um, too used to doing their past papers like uh, Cambridge past papers because they might be quite different from the way that uh, Pearson assesses students so it might get you confused so it's better really to stick to Pearson's uh, resources and that's all I hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching so here I've just given some more websites from where you can get other resources as well, such as bbc.co.uk slash bitesize, greatsaver.com, and khanacademy.org.